Hi, I'm Riley Teeter, and you can see that I have precision balancing with this teeter table. I'm in complete control of the speed and the rotation. I can go to any angle just by selecting where I put my arm. So how do you get this precision balancing with your teeter? Here's a few different adjustments that you can look to to get that same level of control. The first is your height. So I'm actually five foot six, but I had adjust uh, here to five foot seven because of my weight distribution. So you might also be one to two inches on either side of your actual height. And that's because maybe you have longer legs or you have more weight in the upper body. So that's really something you have to consider so that you're getting 50% of your body weight on one side of the pivot point and 50% of your body weight on the other side. Another thing to look at is the ankle comfort dial. I have small feet and ankles, so I've moved this up to the higher setting to ensure that these ankle cups are closing on the smallest part of my ankles. Now, my husband on the other end, he'll rotate down here, um, and that is again making sure that these are closing at the perfect part and most secure part of his ankles. Um, if I was to use it in this setting, it means that as I rotate it, because I'm held in here higher in my leg, I would actually slide and that would move me one to two inches towards the head end of the table as I'm inverted and make it more difficult for me to return back upright. So finding the right ankle comfort dial adjustment is going to help you get that precision balancing. The third and final thing is to look at what hole setting you have the three hole hinge. Now this is typically a set it and forget it um, setting that you'll do right when you get the inversion table. Um, but something to consider if you find that you're not getting that perfect balance and rotation. So you can see here that there are three holes. The top hole here, which is closest to the uh, pivot pen, is the most responsive. And this is something, if you're lighter weight, under 120 pounds, you're gonna wanna be in this setting, especially if you're going to full inversion and you wanna lock out. The B setting in the middle setting here is really a great for the whole family uh, selection because it will accommodate both lighter weight and heavier people. And then the final setting is um, for heavier people and it's what we call the school bus setting because it's gonna give you that very slow controlled rotation. For more information on uh, the hinge setting, you can go to the owner's manual guide that is laminated and hangs from your inversion table. And then you just click them into place evenly on both sides and then put it into the table. So those are three adjustments that you can do that is really gonna give you the ability to get that precision balancing, that control, so that while you're using your teeter, you're completely relaxed and enjoying the many benefits. So I hope I've helped you. And remember, at Teeter, we have your back.